Hey, what's up? It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thanks for checking out this quick video. I'm just basically going to explain to you some of the settings on a high volume, low pressure spray gun. This is one of the cheaper guns that I have. It's a finish line by uh, Devilbiss here. And it also it came with the 1.3 tip, uh, the 1.4, and a 1.8 tip. So it came with three different tips for using for different springs. So if you're not familiar about tips, 1.3 and a 1.4 tip nozzle size here is what you want to use for spraying any type of enamels and base coat clear coats. Perfect for that. The larger the tip uh, is for shooting thicker materials such as primers, 2K primers, epoxy primers, and stuff like that. You need a bigger tip so you can have this thicker material flow out onto your panel. All right now, you could also get around that by actually thinning your primer out with a little bit of reducer and you can also use the 1.3 or the 1.4 tip. All right, so keep that in mind. You can use the same gun for primers if you don't have an extra gun or if you don't have the budget to go buying a strictly primer gun. All right, so some of the settings over here, you're gonna see uh, we have a couple of knobs on top here and uh, one down here. This is just your main pressure regulator. Some guns have it on the gun itself. This one comes on the regulator. So you have your air hooked up here. You could uh, press on your trigger halfway to see how much airflow you're getting, and you could regulate it right here. Say you want to spray at uh, 28 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever you're looking at. This is the gauge, okay? Uh, right in here, this nozzle here is going to be your fluid flow. So if you see, if I tighten it all the way down, trigger's hardly going to go anywhere, right? If I let it go, you see how my thumb is pushing the trigger down more and more? that means you're going to have maximum fluid flow. Uh, when painting, you always want to have maximum fluid flow. All right? So squeeze your trigger all the way down and just tighten this till she starts touching inside. Okay, right in here. So you know that's set. Right over here, this top one, we're looking at your fan width. Okay, so if you tighten it down, you're going to get a narrow fan width like this. If you open it up, you're going to get a wide fan. All right? When painting, you want to use a wide fan depending on what area. If you're getting into tight areas like door jams and stuff, I recommend you could narrow the fan down or even use a touch-up gun, which is a smaller gun uh, than this conventional standard gun that you, know, that you use for painting the, the outside of the car. All right? So pretty simple. All right? A lot of guns are basically the same exact setup here. You got a couple of knobs here. Some of them like the SADAs, you'll have an extra knob here that uh, adjusts the pressure as well. Okay? Um, a few things when cleaning, you just want to make sure you take off, take apart the whole gun when cleaning and soak it. Have a little bucket, fill it up with lacquer thinner. Uh, the front comes off like this, pretty easy. Okay? You're going to have your little wrench that you get with the gun that you can take off your tip, soak it, you could take off your top right here, clean it out, and also don't forget to take out your, your little filter that you're going to have in the neck of the gun. Mine is already out. Uh, you could also pull these apart, take everything apart, you can pull the bottom off. Pretty simple and just soak it, get a brush, a toothbrush if you don't have one of those cleaning kits, clean the gun after each use. It's very, very important to clean your gun because once you start getting clear coat or paint just caking up inside, you're going to have problems spraying. All right? It's going to come out uneven and uh, when you're ready to use the gun, uh, you got it all filled up, ready to go, you're going to have a problem. And then you're going to have to take the gun apart. It's going to delay your whole painting time. You're going to have to clean it all up and all that. So again, make sure to clean your gun after each use all the time. Okay, It's not good to let clear sit in overnight. Uh, when you're done with your paint job, rinse it out. What I usually do is just have you know have the cup on, dump the paint out, pour some brand new lacquer thinner inside. Okay, pour some brand new lacquer thinner inside. Close the lid, shake it a couple times, squeeze it, take some of the old paint out, get a toothbrush, clean around here, uh, and just take it apart and clean it. All right. So quick little five-minute video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, learn a little bit something about you know cleaning guns and some of the settings on your knobs here. So if you want to learn more about 
Auto Body and Paint about spraying, all types of stuff like that. Check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. We have thousands of VIP members across the world, and we teach you exactly what you need to do for your specific project. It's you're not alone anymore. Uh, there's a private forum community, and you get to speak with uh, technicians from all over the world. Speak with myself, share your projects, and learn exactly what you need to do on complete step-by-step -step detailed videos within the VIP membership site. Okay, we have videos that show you how to install body kits, Lamborghini doors, just everything. I'll be here for 15 minutes explaining everything to you. But just go ahead, check it out, learnautobodyandpaint.com. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you inside. Have a great day.